We appreciate you choosing us tonight. I'm Ford Hatchet. We're going to start tonight with our top story. We are in weather action mode tonight as storms hit the valley this Easter Sunday. ABC 15 taking action for you with team coverage tonight. Meteorologist Ashley DiMartino is tracking the storms and we'll get to Ashley in just a minute. But first, we're going to start with Patrick Hayes, who is out in the elements. And Patrick, you were out there earlier today when we had a little dry spell. How are things looking right now? Yeah, a lot of families were hitting the road this weekend because of Easter or even spring break. That's why we're reaching out to find safe ways to get you home. Now we reached out to the Arizona Department of Transportation and they say they're warning drivers to be on the lookout for certain things depending on where you live. If there's snow, you want to try to stay home, but if you can't, then make sure you take a cell phone, charger and blanket just in case. If you're in the valley, you're more likely to see some wet roads. For wet roads, for example, rain coming down or rain really coming down hard, we recommend that you slow down, check your tires and your wipers before heading out if you can, and leave extra room and travel time when you're traveling. ADOT also re recommends checking the road conditions before you head out. Reporting live, Patrick Hayes, ABC 15, Arizona. Patrick, we appreciate it. Stay dry out there. Uh, as promised, we're going to get to Ashley DiMartino. As Ashley, I know you've been tracking these storms all throughout the weekend and into today. Uh, yeah, it's been a very soggy Easter Sunday. It's been 25 years since we've had measurable rain on Easter. And not only did we do that, but we set a all-time new daily record for rainfall at Sky Harbor Airport today as we went well above the previous record. Outside right now, we do have the showers that are moving through Buckeye, Goodyear, Avondale, through Central Phoenix, moving through Glendale, up through Surprise. So it's the West Valley really getting that rain at this point. We take a wider look at the entire state and this is that next round of storms. We've had a little bit of lightning out and around the Buckeye area because you can see we do have those isolated thunderstorms that are kind of embedded in this next wave of moisture that's going to be coming through our state. A little bit of snow as well up in the Sholo and the White Mountains for us uh, and light accumulations really. We just had a few moments ago the National Weather Service issuing a flood advisory from now all the way until Wednesday for the Tonto Basin area. Rain gauges in that area are indicating that we are seeing the levels of the creek that are rising. So we are seeing some flooding in that area already, and it is due to the rain, but also the snow melt that's just to the north of it. So that again in place until Wednesday night. Talking about the rain that we saw here around the valley, just take a look at these numbers. They've kind of been uh, going up a little bit more in the west part of the valley where we saw some lighter rain earlier today, but not as much as what we had seen in the West Valley. Sky Harbor Airport got 0.32 inches of rain. Again, that set a new daily record. We'll take a look at the other watches and warnings you need to know about and the temperatures you can expect for the start of the week coming up in your seven day forecast.